Of shopping with my daughter so we're going to go and get some a uh, few things for her for school and all it's fixing to begin and I'm getting some stuff to do some cooking with so y'all continue to watch the video and y'all cook with me y'all we're at Bath and Body Works and look at all their Halloween stuff <laughs> Oh my gracious y'all, there is so much cute stuff here. Alright guys, I'm cooking shrimp bowl. It takes about 10 minutes to prep and 20 minutes to cook. The ingredients I'm showing you is for a serving of 6. So I'm doing a serving of 9 people. If you want to do a serving of more, then just all you have to do is just double up or triple up. But... Whatever is left, you can always freeze. With two bowls, this big will get me about 24 cups of water. And I'll show you how big the bowl is in a minute. What I'm going to do is transfer this to my pot. Now this is minced garlic. I'm cutting about 10 pieces. And over there to the left, top left, that is my onion. I already got it ready. So after I'm done crushing this minced garlic, I'm going to cut that up. Now that I'm done cutting up my minced garlic, I'm going to take a measuring cup and I'm just going to crush them. This is my easy way. If you have an easier way, please let me know. Next, I'm just going to chop this onion up. I'm not going to chop it finely. I'm just going to chop it um, and just throw it in with the rest of the ingredients. Now I'm going to get my red baby tomatoes out. I'm just going to put them in this bowl for right now. I'm going to use two pounds. All I'm going to do now is just cut them in half and put them in the pot. So, what was surprising to me, y'all, I couldn't find a corn on cob, so I used that frozen corn in a bag, and I just used one pound of it. I got two smoked link sausages, and I'm going to cut them up one inch, and then I'm going to throw them in the pot.
Now I'm going to cut up my lemon. I'm going to cut the tops off and the bottom. And I'm just going to throw them in the trash. Next, I'm going to cut the lemon into six pieces. Be careful because there is seeds in this. So I'm just going to take the seeds and get them out. I'm going to save them. I'm going to put them over to the side. I'm going to plant these suckers. I'm going to see if they grow. I'm opening up four bags of shrimp that's already peeled. I'm going to leave the tails on my shrimp. And this is four pounds of shrimp that I'm using. And I'm just going to throw it in the pot. Alright y'all, it's time for the seasoning. So what I'm going to do is I'm using Old Bay seasoning. I'm using a whole cup. When I'm done, I'm just going to dump it in with the uh, rest of the ingredients. And while it's going to be boiling, I'm just going to just stir it all up. Next, I'm going to use five tablespoons of parsley because this is such a big pot. All right, some people wait till the end to add their butter, but I gone ahead and put my butter in. I used a half a stick of butter. And you're going to have to let this boil for 20 whole minutes. And make sure you stir too. So it don't stick. Next, I drained all the water out and I put it in my baking pan. This is my turkey baking pan. So you need a deep baking pan to put it all in. Next is up to you. This is optional, but what I do is I squeeze a lemon into another bowl. I make sure I get all the seeds out, and then I just pour it right on top of that shrimp bowl. Y'all, this smells good. This looks good. I'm ready to dig in. All in all, it took about 35 to 40 minutes from prepping to cooking. I hope y'all enjoyed watching this video. This smells good, so I'm going to get me a bowl. I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.